gentlemen, welcome back to the Modus Super Series, where it's semi-final time here at the Modus Live Lounge in Portsmouth. And now would you please welcome to the stage the first of our semi-finalists. Firstly, it's the Flying Eagle, Daryl Pilgrim. And please welcome the Barbarian, Conan Whitehead. <laughs> Warm welcome back to the Yellow Oki, and things are about to get very, very interesting. We've just had a couple of matches that were to decide the winner of the groups. The groups are done. Now it's proper darts. It's knockout darts. There are only three matches left tonight, two semi-finals and a final. And the money is about to ramp up like these guys have never seen before in their careers. This is what it was all about at the start of their qualifying for this night. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First leg, it's Daryl to throw first. Game on. They wanted to have this chance to get a career best paycheck. Now, if Daryl Pilgrim wins this game, and indeed, 45. if Conan Whitehead wins this game, it will be just by making the final their career best paycheck because Conan Whitehead's best 100. came in making the quarterfinals of Lakeside a few years ago. And it would be his first five-figure paycheck, because by making the final, you get £10,000, and still the opportunity to double that. If you lose at this stage, you will walk away with 3750 Can't sneeze at that, can you, Paul? I've never been at the stage of my career where I could sneeze with that many notes. This is where you find out how good your focus is. You want to be able to play darts in a bubble and not think about the money. Think about what you're doing. Yeah, you need to approach it as it's just another game because if you start thinking about if I win this, that means I can get to the final. If I win the final, I could walk away with £20,000. You just need to focus on what's in front of you. What was the most expensive game of darts you took part in? Was it the world final? I would have to say so, yes. I can say from my own experience, the most expensive game of darts I ever played in was worth £28,000. And I didn't think about the money once. You hope for these players' sakes that they're not thinking 92. about it either because it is a distraction. It's not so much a motivator right now. And Pilgrim, Mr. Consistency, 62. as we've been calling him, is at it again. Are you a very 32. consistent start. Game shot on the first and still play. looks Dale very Pilgrim. consistent. I just wonder if Mr. P, as he's known, on Second the back leg, of that shirt, has got first. as many fans out there as Conan. I don't think he does. You could be right there, because I know Conan definitely has a few friends out there in the crowd, along with his wife, By winning his group, Daryl Pilgrim's got the darts. Protecting his position by holding leg one. And he has been winning local tournaments in preparation for this week. So he has that winning feeling. Now they may just be local events, 43. not on cameras, but winning is winning. It's keeping that positivity alive. Yeah, and it's ultimately match practice uh, because you can do all the 96. practice on the board that you want, really, but having that match practice is vital. It's a bit like having a football at your feet and you know that you're kicking it pretty well against the wall. But it's a bit different when there's somebody standing in your way. You can see what he's trying to do here from the 265 position. 133. The 19s give you an easier route to a finish. 
once again, he's just showed how good he is on those 57s. 100. Darrell, you require one. Take it a 132 this week from Chris Mason. 25. Followed by 57 and Bull. Coincidentally, against Conan Whitehead. 92. Conan, you require 78. You suspect that Conan's going to have to hit this. Double top. There will be a reaction if this goes in. 58. Darrell, you require but There is no 40. reaction. Just fell short. Game shot on the second Darryl leg. does not fall Darryl short. Pilgrim. That's a 13-dart break of throw. And so far, so good for Pilgrim. And you can see why. His Third average is over 20 first. better than his opponent. And he's not missing doubles either. Have a look at those. 85. He continues to do that. Someone is going to have to do something meteoric to stop him. One hundred and eight. I'd classify that as meteoric, but he's going to have to keep it going. One hundred. Such an interesting semi-final, this. Two rhythms that really complement each other. 140. As Whitehead misses dart six. Well, they've already played twice this week, playing in both Thursday and Friday, and they are one and one, if I remember rightly. Daryl won Thursday, Conan won yesterday. 100. Because they were last match of Thursday evening, first match of Friday evening. 170. Well, 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 what a leg from Conan. The that... only time he probably didn't want to hit the bullseye. Yeah, that's the only time we don't want to hit a 170. 43. Conan, you're All is good in the world 11. if you hit three and double four. Game shot. And there you have it. Conan that's Whitehead. how you get yourself back into a match. That's an 11 daughter. And a break straight back. And as I say, a break doesn't count. Unless Fourth leg, it's hold. Conan to throw first. Game on. Yeah, just to confirm your point there, Corinne. It is one all in their head to head this week. They have played on one other occasion, which I mentioned in a previous match. Conan was on the same finals night back in phase four, week two. And Conan won that one by four legs to three. And what was a very good game, both averaging over 93. But their previous 100. meeting yesterday was even better. They both averaged over 96, with Whitehead winning that one by four legs to two. He'll yeah. be hoping that he can do that again. You just mentioned 100. in the last leg how Darrell was almost 20 points above Conan in averages, and now we can actually see that Conan's lifted his average to just shy of 100, and Darrell's dropped down to 94. So it just goes to show it doesn't take much for it to, to do that 180. And it probably was the 180 from Conan that did it. Well, there you go. 180 is in the air. Conan, you require 132. That 132 keeps cropping up, doesn't it? 104. And both times it's been left, it has resulted in a perfect approach. And this time, it's with Pilgrim on a bogey number. Incredible quality. Conan All of a sudden in this semi-final, the urgency Game shot is the there, play. and the double 14 Conan is also Whitehead. there for another 13 darter in this semi-final. And we are back to an even game, two Fifth all. Fifth leg, it's Darrell to throw first. 140. I'm hazarding a very educated guess here. Look through Daryl Pilgrim's career, and I don't think he's ever played a game for £6,250 or more. This could be the biggest game of his life right now. Whereas Conan has played a game for that amount of money before, which was his biggest game of his life. And they are playing like their life depends on it.
But aren't we being treated to a great display of darts here now? 140. And the crowd know it too. Respectful, buoyant when they want to be and giving incredible order to these players 60. who deserve it considering what's on the line. He'd love another. 125. Well, even if that was a single 20, it would have made things so much easier. But the single five denies him a shot at what Daryl might even take right now. Bullseye. 80. Now, if he'd have had one, two, one, it would have been two cracks out of trouble. But here he's got to get two of them. There's one. There's another. 128. Oh, this game is so dramatic. Daryl, you require I'm, 41. I'm almost... Uh, oh, well, I am forgetting to speak because I'm just glued to the screen watching where the darts go. Double 16. Game Pilgrim the hits the front player. again. Darryl He's Pilgrim. now one leg away from the final. And Whitehead is one of those players Six when his back is against the wall, he Daniel. usually comes out swinging. He's going to need to now. He's at the point of no return. It needs to be two straight legs, otherwise he will be defeated in the semis. Well, this is why he is known as the Barbarian. Either that or he's just got really big forearms. One of the two. 81. Maybe both. <laughs> when you shake hands with Corn and Whitehead, your hand stays shook. 56. Now we're about to find out how Pilgrim feels under pressure. We've already spoken a couple of times tonight about 59. how sometimes he just takes his foot off the pedal a little bit when things get a bit edgy. I remember something that 60. one of the leading players in world darts said about five years ago. Joe Cullen said he learned more about himself in a pro tour final with Daryl Gurney in a last leg shootout than at any point in his career. 60. And if you can do that, you can do anything in this game. These are the moments you find out what kind of player you are right now. So many mannerisms happening in the back of the stage there. The shirt is being tweaked. The arm is being exercised. There's water being drunk. I think it's because Daryl doesn't want to pay attention to what Conan's doing. That's why he's distracting himself to not watch. He's doing a lot of things because his focus is all over the place. 96. You know what Bruce Lee once said? One of the most profound pieces of philosophy ever mentioned. Standing still and doing nothing are two very different things. Right now, Daryl Pilgrim can't stand still. One of the worst things in playing in a stage match is that you absolutely 97. cannot avoid what the, your, your opponent is doing. And that's because you've got a referee on the stage that's calling out the scores. You can not watch all you want. Game shot on the sick play. But you can't stop Conan yourself from hearing And Daryl would have just heard that Conan's hit that double to make it 3-0 and they're going to a last leg decider, which I Seventh think this game leg. absolutely deserves. First. Couldn't game agree on. more. Let us revel in how good this game has been. Three 180s. Whitehead. 57. The ultimate darting fighter. That's the first time that I consciously remember I've seen Daryl switch around the board there. 26. Go from the 20s to the 19s to the 18s. He's usually so good on those 19s that once he goes down the bottom there, he doesn't need to switch again. So maybe there is some tension that's coming into this match now in this last leg. 40. Neither of them have got off to a great start, as we can see. Six starts from Daryl, and he's only scored 97. This is all about who gets to the double first. It really doesn't matter if it's a 12 darter or a 32 darter. This is just a valuable leg of darts. Oh, what if this ends up being a double one shootout? I wouldn't put it past them. Oh, that is incredible. From both players, two treble visits, back to back. Whitehead has got to keep pace. 
60. He's not far behind. He really needed a treble there. Another treble or uh, one treble or even two treble visit here. Not a treble five. Oh, and not a seven. 42. When you drag the dart left, that is a sign of tension. And Conan's only a dart behind. And he's craving a 140 to halve the score. 60. Oh, I'm it's, really... just, it's just tied. After 12 darts, we can barely separate them. This I... is tension personified. Yeah, I'm really surprised Conan didn't switch there. 58. You'd love a maximum. Oh. It would leave tops. Wow. Oh, wow. A magnanimous Don't maximum from the man wielding the big sword on the back of the shirt. And the 57s don't come to the rescue of Pilgrim. It's now in the hands of the Barbarian. Conan, you require 40. To make the final. Double 10. Game He's shot. there. And the man. Whitehead Conan screams Whitehead. with delight. And Pilgrim is denied in his first Double. defeat of the night. And in stage one, Pilgrim was Mr. Consistency. But the Barbarian is the ultimate fighter. And he will have a chance at the maximum prize. There is the tail of the tape of what was an exceptional semi final 99.63. The best of the night from Whitehead and Pilgrim with a typical 90 plus average. It just wasn't enough. He faltered at the end. Whitehead didn't. He's in the final and Pilgrim is not. And we've got one more semi final to come. Gather your breath. Get yourself a beverage and come back after the break for pain against Usher.